Hi guys, in the previous lesson we learned to design the way of our channel according to the ground level and then we design the slope of our channel according to the ground level on the profile by using the profile tool. Then in this lesson we want to know the cross section of our channel. We don't know until now the cross section that we will design according to in to it so that we will use assembly to make assembly and cross section and then we will make a corridor for this cross section according to the alignment that we draw it before then we will make a surface for this corridor that defines the cross section along this alignment then this surface we will compare it according to the surface for the ground level then finally please we will compute the quantity of soil that needed for this project to be instructed if it cut or if it fell volume so let's start we'll go to assembly and create assembly make it assembly number one and click ok and I can put it here like this so if I zoom in this is I mark on it select it it's disappear tool palette I choose it he show me the channel so I will choose this channel and make a click on this assembly then make a scab and click on it select and by keyboard BR properties it will appear here the box of properties I can change the depth I can change the bottom width I can change the slope I can make it straight and then I cancel this side lens so this is the channel that I want I will select this cross section and make a corridor create a corridor it will be a corridor number one this corridor should have a profile tool that we made it before then assembly will be the assembly number one that we do we did it and the surface is all so I have to change this and then click OK and click OK it already built it on this alignment if I click right and object viewer this is the, the channel that I design but until this point you have to go back to the mountain that we discussed before that you practice on it you will continue practicing to this mountain because there is this is cross road here because you need to compute the volume of this mountain according to the natural ground level under this mountain that you didn't have its surface so follow me to practice on this mountain click on the mountain and go back to surface probabilities you will make it like this contour and the triangle then you have to disappear the points of the mountain you will go to all you can make right click properties and go to basic and go to elevation only click ok this is the point of our mountain disappear again and here is a big issue or a big 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 issue to choose the surface that you will compare this big mountain according to it as a natural ground under the mountain if you go to the legend and choose the lowest elevation this lowest elevation and use it for the surface to compare this mountain or this uh, volume it will be far off the right if you 
take it and compare this is 873.8 go here go here 873 you remember 70 now it's 76.7 you go here so you will down from the natural the natural here by three meter you will get it down but it's maybe it's a uh, rock or uh, soil for another as same as like they put on the ground have a slope so here not same like the lowest it's a three eight seven three here not same so it will be different if you go here not same so the natural ground level should be the slope of the natural ground level not one level straight if you take one level straight the lowest level okay you can also take this level the highest level around the mountain so it will be decrease the volume if you choose the lowest level it will be increase the volume with a big mound because you have a big mountain its length if you check the the length of the mountain so it's 400 by which 370 if you make 300 by 400 by 3 meter difference so it will 360,000 meter 360,000 meter it's a big volume so this mistake will put your result in way far than and far and far the actual quantity that you have to compute it right so what will we do to choose a right surface we will choose this point and make a copy from it and put it away like this he asking me to make it a double so I will make duplicate point number by using the next number okay no problem so I make it as a new like this and because it's not included in our group because this point is in a group this point is not included in the group he make it as a new point and make sure that this elevation of this point li is 878.9 same like that you copy from it we have to make another point copy point so to save the elevation you have to space to go from space to space like this and make okay and here i also will choose a point like this and same i will do around all the mountain and notice i choose the lowest point or the end point because it's the end point of the mountain it's down and here you know if you notice I have to delete this line that we talked before I choose the lowest point for this area ah. if I get this point copy from itself or from the surface and then I will go to here you notice you notice that it's elevation it came to zero so here it's wrong it's wrong point if i check it so it's elevation become to zero so notice to uh, copy from space to space from empty to empty so if i check its elevation now it's same Eight seven five point five. Eight seven five point five. Also here, I make a copy from MBT. To MBT, and make sure of its elevation. Okay. 
and here I will take also a bind okay this point that rounded the mountain it will be the new surface that I will make it to compare the big surface of mountain to compute the volume this is the right surface another surface that you will choose from one elevation it will be a bad volume computation so notice to choose according to the natural and it's better to measure and put the points before this mountain manufacturing you have to collect the points before they put any quantity of this mountain then you will have clear point according to the natural ground but now you come to the mountain it's already installed so you have to solve this problem by this point so let's make a group for this and make a surface i i'll click here right click new new one i will name it as a section because it will be uh, surface section surface that will be compared by all surface of the mountain i will choose only elevation and description to to different it by the all surface okay then it will it haven't any point i will right click and include i will choose this and select all this point from the screen ah uh, he selected it here no selection here is selected I will click OK. He will collect all this point as his point group. And notice this, it will be both a point here because it will now it's included. So it's disappears the elevation and description. And this is elevation only disappear because uh, appear because there is no description. I already not description this points. So now I have to make a surface for these points. Go to surface. You notice that this yellow mark for this all. And here the ligand cancels the colored. I have here to make a rebuild, automatic rebuild for this mountain. So it's go away, just wandering. Uh, click the surface, right click, create surface and make it as a section. Okay open it open it and make group add and choose a section now we make directly connected only this points together with the surface it's not connected to this points only the points that i included it in this group that named by section now i have to group to compare it and compute volume so let's start the next lesson